A North Texas man who murdered four people seemingly at random in 2020 will spend the rest of his you. life in prison. Jeremy Harris pleaded guilty to committing of the four murders. In one case, he Yo, shot. Yo, that's uh, mediocre tutorials. <laughs> Yo, that does look like him. <laughs> a North Texas man who murdered four people seemingly at random in 2020 will spend the rest of his life in prison. Jeremy Harris pleaded guilty to committing of the four murders. In one case, he shot and killed an SMU student in downtown Dallas. In another, he killed a man and burned down his home in Collin County. Fox News David Centenary spoke to the mother of that. All this at random. Murdered SMU student. That mother was in court for Harris, Harris's sentencing today, David. Yeah, this was a series of mostly random shootings that obviously freaked so many people out. We're talking about a guy who was just driving around shooting and killing random people. Now he will spend the rest of his life behind bars in prison, no possibility of parole. But of course, that does not undo the trauma left behind to the family members of these victims. My father gave me shelter. Of course. <laughs> of course. Press one. Everybody uh, he killed was white. <laughs> I don't know, but this one was white. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why he didn't get the death penalty of this is Texas? Because he confessed. It's all lies, man. All the bullshit is all lies. It doesn't. It's nothing about confessing. It just... It's all lies about this fucking racism and sundown towns and criminal justice needing to be reformed and black people getting the raw into the stick. It's all fucking a bunch of lies. My father gave me shelter. Jaden Rea loved music. The SMU student was a regular at Deep Ellum open mics. <laughs> Wow, he's raw. He, he, this kid probably had big goals, wanted to be a performer. This fucking snuffed this kid out for no fucking reason. He wanted to be an entertainment lawyer because he loved entertaining. But after leaving a Halloween party in 2020, the 19 year old was randomly shot and killed on Harwood Street in downtown Dallas. The worst moment of my life. Urea's mother, who lives in Indiana, looked her son's killer, Jeremy Harris, in his eyes and delivered a victim impact statement after he pled guilty to four murders Tuesday. Harris will serve life in prison without parole. Part of the reason why I wanted to be there was I was hoping he would maybe stand up and give some kind of explanation. It couldn't have been that pointless or that senseless. She says Harris never gave an explanation. It was surreal thinking I'm looking into this eyes of this cold-blooded killer who seems to have no remorse, no soul. Two weeks after Harris killed Urea, he shot and killed 36-year-old Adam Goutreau in Northwest Dallas. 30 minutes later, Harris in a dark call. Let me see Adam Goutreau. <laughs> Give me an idea of Adam Goutreau, guys. He probably mad about that George Floyd shit. Yeah, the Dallas had that shooting. Uh, the, some BLM dude shot a bunch of cops. He was moving off tactically downtown with a shotgun. The footage was crazy. And then they blew him up with a drone. Oh, well, um, Micah X. And black people was mad about that, too. Mm-hmm. That dude was I, a savage. I'm sure Adam Gutro's white, man. Adam Gutro's probably white too. That's not a black person's name. Adam Gutro. I don't know why why it's doing this, man. Um, I don't know why um Streamyard is doing this. Killer who seems to have no remorse, no soul. 
Two weeks after Harris killed Urea, he shot and killed 36-year-old Adam Goutreau in northwest Dallas. 30 minutes later, Harris, in a dark-colored SUV, shot and killed 57-year-old Kenneth Jerome Hamilton in Oak Cliff. Days later, Harris That was a brother. Jerome Hamilton was a brother. That was a brother. Right? What do y'all think? Jerome, yeah. That's a black man name. I want to see all. I'm going to pull up a, um, his victims, man. So we can see who he killed, who this guy killed. Oh, okay. We got him here. We got his victims, guys. Um, damn, he's cold blooded, savage, man. Um, what do you think the I'm a, what, what do you think he killed four people? What do you think the breakdown is? Give three me the breakdown. Like, yeah, three gliders. <laughs> one son. Three gliders. What said? Who who got? What do you got, Chad? He killed four people. Two whites, what? one on Brito, one black. So you got? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay. You got three gliders and one son. Then I said maybe two two gliders, one on Brito and one uh son. Okay, let me let me um let me reveal, man. <laughs> let me do a reveal, man. Uh So it's actually three gliders and one son. Oh, she never changed my answer. <laughs> just, he went around Texas just shooting up. Oh, my God. He definitely hates gliders, but part of him also hates the sons, too. Yeah, he killed that son. That son, man, looked like he wasn't. He, dang, that's sad, man. Killed the son, man. He was that wasn't even for him, man. This wasn't even this was this is a he just got caught up in the mix, man. Sorry, feel bad for that son, man, man. Um shit, man. God dog. Jesus Christ, man. Same. Er Everything they tell you about this country is not true, man. Like everything, like it's 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 this country is literally the opposite. Whatever you hear somebody is say, crazy. Yeah, whatever you hear somebody say is the opposite dies and delivered a victim impact statement after he pled guilty to four murders Tuesday. Harris will serve life in prison without parole. Part of the reason why I wanted to be there was I was hoping he would maybe stand up and give some kind of explanation. It couldn't have been that pointless or that senseless. She says Harris never gave an explanation. It was surreal thinking I'm looking into this eyes of this cold blooded killer who seems to have no remorse, no soul. Two weeks after Harris killed Urea, he shot and killed 36-year-old Adam Goutreau in northwest Dallas. 30 minutes later, Harris, in a dark-colored SUV, shot and killed 57-year-old Kenneth Jerome Hamilton in Oak Cliff. Days later, Harris shot and killed Blair Carter and set Carter's Collin County house on fire. I hope you spend hour after hour, day after day, year after year, just crying with loneliness and frustration. <laughs> I'm glad it's so Man. stupid. He family playing cards, watching TV. Like, come on. Why are you glad it's so fucking stupid, man? I think uh, naive or something like that is more accurate. But They are very naive. A, I mean, it's an ignorance, certainly. Yeah, stupid. Stupid man. Stupid. Stupid. Dumb. It's, it's yeah. Dumb. <laughs> dumb. This dumb. This seems ass. like an elementary school classroom. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, nah, I'm just uh, joking. Yeah. But uh, I mean, shoot, 
she probably do want him to do that. Feel alone and miserable. But he not. He gonna join a. He gonna join a prison gang. He gonna be fucking faggot feces and fucking boy. He gonna be fucking the fucking gay dudes in there. He gonna be working out. He gonna. He gonna, get, he gonna be high as hell off the boxing strips and K two and all this shit. Yeah. He's commissary. <laughs> yeah. He a killer, so he's gonna have a certain type of prestige or advertise of being a killer. You know what I'm saying? And then he kill white people, and you know they hate white people in prison. So. Yeah, man, you glad it's got you can't be that fucking dumb. It's not naivety, man. This is foolishness to think that that guy is gonna be tossing and turning. See, about but, uh, that's yeah. actually an American problem. Americans are fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, that is a big American problem. Yo, even though, like, regardless of what, because I know we talk about, you talk about DNA and race on here all the time, but, like, certain crimes, especially like this one, when I see them happen, and I, I hear people saying, oh, well, they'll be in prison uh, thinking about it for a long time or some stupid shit. It's like, if someone went out of their way to do something, like, be a crash dummy or crash out, why would they care? Like, they don't care. Exactly. If they if they care if look if they cared they wouldn't have done what they did. Exactly. Because there's a sane part of like every person that like stops you, it, even if you had the thought of something like this, the sane part will stop you. This this dude is. I, I'm sorry. I don't even want to say like not insane because some dudes just do it to do it. They just don't care. And he'll still act like he's a victim behind bars. You don't understand. You're not locked up behind these doors like I am. It's hard. It's stressful yeah, on my mind. He's like, bitch, you got victims. Fuck you. Exactly. And get this tray. And on that note, same bad time, same bad channel. Hit the like button on the way out if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm out of here. Good night. Look, Chief.